Daddy, did you just get back from school? Yeah. Hey, what are you playing with? This? It's a Meeper bot. What's a Meeper bot? It's a programmable bot that I can build Legos on and I can control it with my phone. Whoa, that's so cool. Where'd you find that? We were using them at school and I wanted one, so my mom bought it online for me. She bought an extra one. Do you want to play with it? Wow, sounds fun, but I don't have a phone and you said you needed one. You have a tablet, right? Mm-hmm. It works on Android and Apple phones and tablets. Okay, I'm ready to play. How do I get started? So first you have to click on the App Store. And then once it loads, search Meeper. Okay, I got it. How do I connect to the Meeper bot? So first you have to turn it on. So flip over the bot and you have to turn on the switch. See the blue light that's blinking? That means it's on, but it's not connected yet. Once it becomes a solid blue light, that means you're connected and you're ready to go. Then you have to enable the Bluetooth on your device. This is how the Meeper bot communicates with your device. Turn down the Bluetooth for me. And I see bots, which one should I choose? Um, you can choose Botto and I'll choose NPR 10. Awesome, I'm connected. Okay, so now you have to learn how to drive. There's different drive modes. So we have Command Drive, Touch Drive, and Tank Drive, but Command Drive's my favorite. Now you can drive. Whoa, this is so easy. I know. In addition to driving the Meeper bot, you can also make like cool designs yeah. just using the bricks that you have at home. Or you can use builds that you made and create it so it can go on the meter ride. Do you want to do that? That's so cool, sure. Oh, also, you can have weapons that you can put on in addition, and then you can battle it out with another bot. What do you think about this? That's so cool. Let's drive it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. One of my favorite things to do with a MaperBot is bot code. You can actually learn how to code. No way. Yeah, it's like Scratch. So I saved a course. I put the cones there and it had to go forward left, forward again, and then come around the cone and come back. And it worked before. So, drag and drop, and let's see if That's it does. That's so cool. I know. I had some trials and errors, but I thought it was 1.5 seconds to start with, but it ended up being 1.1. So, let's see if it works. And it also shows what it's doing on the code display. Wow. I know.